in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For our good night message on this Wednesday, the 31st of May 2023, broadcasting from Swakomand in Namibia by your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this encouraging and strengthening message being the last day of the month entitled Ways to Have More Gratitude Every Day. We have come to the end of the fifth month and months are moving so fast. We are soon going to be halfway through the year and we want to come back to learn how to be grateful. In the famous words of Ferris Bula, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. It can be easy to get swept away in the fast lane and forget to stop and show your appreciation for what you do have. A life well lived is one of gratitude and thankfulness. To help you on your gratitude journey, here are some of the ways to have some gratitude in your daily life. 1. Don't be picky. Appreciate everything. Gratitude doesn't have to be saved for the big things in life. The habit of being grateful starts with appreciating every good thing in life and recognizing that there is nothing too small for you to be thankful for. I love one of my brothers-in-law, one who has been like a father to us. In fact, I can call him my dad. He married our second born, Mr. Frederick Mwaba. Every little thing you give him, he shows so much appreciation that you just feel like wanting to give more. He would kneel. It humbles me so much that somebody who is turning 75 this year can still go down on his knees for the little gift that you give. Such people just remind me of how God also would feel if we show that kind of gratitude, it would feel like giving us more than we even ask. Even if it is as simple as appreciating the clear weather or how quickly your mailman delivered your mail last Friday, don't leave anything out when practicing your gratitude. Two, find gratitude in your challenges. Gratitude is not only about being thankful for positive experiences. In fact, sometimes thinking about negative or difficult situations can help to really nail down what you have to be thankful for. Western Buddhist master Jack Confield remembers an exercise he did with a man who was caring for his grandson while his son and daughter-in-law battled a drug addiction. Despite all that he had been through, the man was still able to find gratitude for the amount of compassion he had learned to show and the impact he was able to have on other people. Dig a little deeper into some of your own past experiences and try to figure out how they have helped shape you into the person you are today. 3. Practice Mindfulness Sit down daily and think about 
five to ten things that you are grateful for. The trick is that you need to picture it in your mind and sit with that feeling of gratitude in your body. Doing this every day will rewire your brain to be naturally more grateful and you will start feeling happier after every session. It only takes eight weeks of gratitude practice for people to start showing changed brain patterns that lead to greater empathy and happiness. Your brain is a powerful tool and training it towards gratitude is all part of ensuring that the gratitude comes more easily as you practice. So what are you waiting for? Four, keep a gratitude journal. After your mindfulness session, write down your positive thoughts. Keeping a journal of all the things you are thankful for can help you keep track of and refer back to the positives in your life. Write down your positive thoughts to further focus your attention on the subject. While you are putting your pen to paper, you have no choice but to consciously think about the words you are writing without other distracting and grateful thoughts. You can journal every day after your gratitude practice. Or you can come back to the journal on a regular schedule, weekly or monthly. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father.